Hey, it's Dustin, and in a previous video, I explained kind of a general overview of how I've written three novels using ChatGPT so far this year. And in this video, I'm going to go in depth into the actual prompts that you can use to create a book of your own. So I've just got one here that I can copy and paste just to save time, so I don't have to write it out. I'm going to put these in the description of the video so that you can use it yourself. But this just says, you're a world famous award winning novelist. I find this is always good if you can kind of like make ChatGPT role play as somebody that seems to make it right better. Your task is to write a 500 to 800 word synopsis for a 100% unique and brand new genre novel, which will become a New York Times bestseller. And I'm going to say, so here you would plug in like romance you probably can't use erotica because chat gpt doesn't like to write that kind of stuff you can do like horror novels you could put post-apocalypse dystopian novel here i'm gonna say spaghetti western <laughs> novel uh your synopsis should introduce the names of at least two main characters it should contain several creative plot points and escalating conflict with a strong hook to get the reader interested and it should contain a major plot point it's fine to include potential spoilers in this overview. Your novel should take inspiration from uh, past movies starring John Wayne and Clint Eastwood. This novel should also explore ideas relating to subjective morality and to make it more interesting, we'll say uh, this novel takes place entirely underwater. The main characters should be octopuses, and all other characters should also be marine life like fish, squid, etc. Do not include any humans in the story. I don't know if this is actually going to work. I just want to try and push ChatGPT to the limits here and see if it'll write non-human characters. So we can go ahead and see what this gives us. <laughs> Title, Tides of Vengeance. In the depths of the vast ocean. Oh, look at this go. Depths of the vast ocean where the sun's rays barely penetrate lies an underwater world teeming with danger and intrigue. In this unconventional spaghetti western, Tides of Vengeance, the inhabitants of the deep take center stage, bringing life to an epic tale of honor, revenge, and subjective morality. The story begins in the bustling underwater town of Coralton, at once peaceful community now ruled by fear and corruption. At the heart of the submerged town, we meet first our main character, Octavius, Weathered and battle hardened octopus with a tragic past. <laughs> okay, uh, I can't read all this without laughing, so we're just gonna skip that. So now you've got <clears throat> an outline for your story based on whatever genre you want. And now I'm gonna take the 25 chapter plot outline that I mentioned in my last video, which comes from Derek Murphy's website, creativeindie.com. I will also leave a link to that in the description, but I'm just gonna Go ahead and copy and paste the chapters in here. Uh, I guess we'll start off by saying, you are a world famous award winning novelist. Task is to write a 25 chapter novel outline for a 75,000 word novel. Please use the general Chapter outline provided below for pointers on what to include in each chapter. I'll just copy and paste this in here. Uh, I'm going to also say include at least five bullet points with plot details for each chapter along a general description of what happens in each chapter. I don't know how it's going to come out. i kind of doubling up there, but we'll see. So we're going to put this in. Like I said, that's available on Derek Murphy's website. 
toss that in there. Uh, I don't like this so far. Let's see. What I'm going to do is, I'll say, uh, let me edit this. How do I edit this? Why is it not editing? Oh, it won't let me edit. Okay. Your task is for a 25 chapter novel outline for a 70,000 novel based on the synopsis slash book description provided above. Okay. Let's try that. Better. Very good. Okay. So now it is spitting out 25 chapters worth of details telling oh there's the phantom eel in there this is gonna be good and then if this happens obviously you just say continue it's not gonna be able to fit all of it <clears throat> nice 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 i might actually write this <laughs> this is hilarious Octopus Spaghetti Western. Okay, so you got chapter one. Octavius faces a life-threatening encounter with a rival gang. Incidents reveals Octavius's lack of control and vulnerability. Octavius yearns for revenge against Finley Malone, a ruthless gangster who controls Coralton. Octavius realizes the need for justice and redemption. Blah, blah, blah. I go through all here. Yeah, you've got all the details here and then. So what you would do is uh, take this and expand it out. Oh, where am I? Okay. Uh, I This will be a whole separate video if you guys want me to do this. If you want me to like actually write this story in real time, we could probably pump out what we got, like 600 words per chapter times... Let's 600 times 25 is 15. We could write a 15,000 word book in an hour i think on video if you guys want to see that i don't know if you want to watch the entire process from start to finish i can do that but uh let's try and do chapter one here just to get a look at it i would normally <clears throat> probably expand on this too i would like take each of these chapters and get it to expand with even more plot points inside of it but for the sake of this we'll say start Novel described above, begin one really bad day. This chapter should be 2,000 plus words long. It normally ignores this. If you don't have enough plot details, it just doesn't do it. Uh, I'm going to have to actually look later in my actual the one that I'm doing right now, to see how I prompt it for the actual chapters. I don't remember if I do something more than this. Normally, I will paste it in to get it to uh, make the chapters longer. If you want like a 3,000 word chapter, you have to break it up and then feed each individual plot point and be like, write 600 words about this encounter with the rival gang and then write 600 words about past issues with control and vulnerability <coughs> but let's hit this and see what it does for now the water current surged with an undeniable force carrying with it a sense of danger that permeated the dark depths of the ocean Octavius a battle scarred octopus with the brooding aura was acutely aware of the perils that awaited him in the treacherous underworld he called home his eight muscular arms propelled him forward, navigating the underwater train with a grace honed through countless trials. But today was different. Today was a really bad day. I actually like this. I think I'd go back and I would add in details about um, the octopuses having like guns and stuff, like underwater pistols. I think it's probably not going to include those details. Uh, but I would go back and make it like an actual Western with like above water firearms put into the water. But uh, yeah, I like that. If you guys want me to write this entire story on a video, let me know. And we can do that. Um, but yeah, that's basically 
in a nutshell how I prompt to get my outline for the story and then start telling it how to write. And then it spits out kind of like 600 words at once like this. So yeah, it actually looks pretty good. And then if you use GPT-4, it's even better. But this is just GPT-3.5 and this looks really good. You could go through and edit this a bit or you could revise it. Like I said, I'm thinking that there's not going to be like gunplay and stuff, which I want to be in this. I think this is just going to be like octopuses fighting and hitting each other with their tentacles, which is not as good. Not what I wanted, but... It's a good start. And then uh, just to kind of give you an idea of what a difference prompting makes. So we can say, like, if you want to make a, a character for your story, you'd be like, write me a description. A protagonist for a horror story. And, like, this is the absolute bare minimum you could possibly give ChatGPT, and it's going to be like, grasping at straws so I'll, I don't know what the difference is going to be but I'm thinking that this is going to be really bad and then I'll give you kind of like a good prompt to compare it with so name Ellen Emily Sullivan description compelling and multifaceted protagonist okay that doesn't really tell me anything that's just like words uh striking appearance also doesn't say anything unique personality doesn't tell me anything 27 of quiet strength and resilience okay describes her hair what she looks like piercing green eyes physical beauty unwavering intellect that's fine uh but now we'll we'll toss in a different uh description that i wrote so i said write me a description of a protagonist for this story her name is wendy and she's 26 years old and an accountant but hates her job write a detailed description about her appearance including her hair skin color complexion any tattoos piercings or other unique features weight height fashion taste and more include details about what her perfume smells like what her voice sounds like create a backstory for her including members of her family and her childhood friends Describe key pivotal moments in her life that caused her to develop as a person, outline her strengths and weaknesses, her hopes, wants, and was her fears. This description should be 600 plus words long. So you can see how this is like going to guide you towards a specific point. If you just tell it to write a character, it's just going to kind of roll the dice and give you whatever. But chances are you're going to go into the story. You already have some idea of what you want the character to be like. You don't have to put in a name, but you can say like, I want like a geeky character or I want like a strong muscly guy that's going to be the character or whatever. So let's hit this and see what a difference this makes. Uh, okay. Wendy, 26 years old woman who at first glance appears to be an ordinary accountant. How beneath her mundane exterior lies a spirit yearning for something more fulfilling, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so this is more detailed. It gives a height, slender frame, which exclu exclu uh, exudes elegance and grace. Hazel eyes flecked with hints of green and gold. Ooh, very specific. Fair porcelain skin that holds a soft rosy glow complemented with a sprinkle of freckles. Across her nose and cheeks to give her a youthful charm. Describes what she wears. Flowing blouses and tailored pants. She's got a tattoo on her wrist. Uh, describes what her voice is like. Describes her family life, her childhood. Pivotal moments in her life. Strengths, weaknesses. Ooh, fear of failure. Uh, that kind of thing. So yeah, basically the more information that you can give ChatGPT, the better it's going to do. So try and really think of a prompt especially if you're making a story and you're gonna have a main character you should take like at least five or ten minutes just kind of create your own basic character that you want and then kind of think of the details that you want chat gpt to fill in the details for and let it go from there but yeah that's it for uh prompting 101 i guess we can call this for writing novels if you guys want me to write that uh octopus spaghetti western in a video to show you the entire process from start to finish and then uh, I can edit it up and publish the whole story for you to read I can do that I just don't know if anybody wants to see kind of like that's going to be a more slow paced video of me just copying and pasting and looking through stuff so I don't know if that's going to be as fun to watch but if you want that let me know or if there's anything else about AI writing for chat GPT either blogs and articles or more novel writing stuff or if you want to do some 
nonfiction. I could do that too. I haven't actually used ChatGPT to write nonfiction books yet, but I'm sure I could figure that out and do something. But thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want more AI writing content, and I'll see you guys in the next video.